welcome to the second fucking annual episode of the Big A Podcast. We're doing one of these every year, and we had three fucking weeks in between episodes. Anyways, I'm your host, Gabe, and I'm here with my co-host, uh, Big Wes. Hello, I'm Big Wes. Sorry for the delay. Gabe was really gay. <laughs> I'm just, I, it's true. I'm really gay. I wanted to start off today's podcast. I want to talk about a familiar topic because... Um, I was, <laughs> it's not hentai this, this time it's porn this time. It's okay, different. Thank, thank God. It's, <laughs> it's we're the just, same we're changing it up a little bit. Yeah. We're changing it up, but we're talking about porn for this, for this first, first, first part. Right. I, the reason I want to talk about porn is cause I was, I was on YouTube. Right. And I don't know. <laughs> I remembered I remember that on YouTube they have these fab tributes where they where they take they take images and videos of of hot women and they put them on to these um to these fucking video sites and they they have them up there and they you fab to them but on YouTube uh oh you know you know what okay. they are you know what they are uh no I don't You've never watched one, Wesley. You've never watched a fat tribute. Maybe when I was a young, a young man of eight years old. <laughs> a young man. That's what they're made for. They're made for small children on YouTube who want to want to touch their small pee pee. Yeah, they want to. They wanna, yeah, it's their first time jacking off, so they look up hot girl fat tribute. Um, but the reason I bring this up is because I I re, I, I looked it up again because I remembered it. And uh -huh. uh, I didn't fab to it. I will. I will attest to this. I will cross my heart for G Jesus. I didn't fab to it. Big G big Jesus in the big, sky. <laughs> big Jesus in the sky, looking down. Jesus looked down. He saw. He saw me jacking off to um, Danielle Big Br Brigoli fab tributes, and he said, mm -mm, "No, I'm going to hell." But no, <laughs> I, I looked it up. There's I a think lot I, of them. I think I did look at stuff like this, but I never looked at did actual. I, I never looked at these actually. <laughs> did you have like a go-to girl that you would look up? You would find on the on the Fab Tribute. Um, uh, on the Fab. I, I no, I didn't look up Fab Tributes. I would just look up like hot girls or uh, stuff like that. Hot um, girls with big titties. Hot girls, big titties, big ass. You know. Yeah. The work. <laughs> But yeah, I looked up and the, there's just like 10 channels dedicated to these these fucking uh, fab videos. The big, like, the big 10 channels. Yeah, there's like HD faps, fat, daily fab tributes. And this man, scour, he, has, he has no life. He scours the internet <laughs> and he finds like 20 fucking images of girls, 20 videos, replays them over and over again, copy paste them to the point where um <laughs> where he can output a video every day <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous and there are dogs barking in the background i'm sorry i have 20 dogs i apologize but yeah are you are you looking up are you looking up these fat videos wesley i am looking up these fat tributes um yeah they look i might i might save a few for later you know what i'm saying <laughs> hang on Okay, my, my computer went off. I'm sad. Whatever. Wait, what? My computer just dinged because it installed Premiere Pro, which is going to be in the recording. But listen, we don't have a lot of money here. I don't care. We're I'll very just, poor. Yeah, I'll try to cut it out as best I can, I think. A lot of like Sniper Wolf is coming up. Um, <laughs> it's true. This, one, this one's title is Sniper Wolf Wolf Sexy Ass Boobs Fat Tribute. Fat tribute, not fat tribute. She's not fat, fat. tribute. That probably, or there, there's probably fat tribute somewhere. That's probably so. I'll, I'll fat look is up a fat kink. tribute, everyone. Okay, thank oh, you. That, it's horrible. Don't. There's Sans, and he's fat. Oh God, no, please. <laughs> it says Sans <laughs> tribute. I'm fat. Say and then, no. and then in a bracket, it says fat slash pudge slash chubby slash inflation slash overstuffing fetish. Parentheses. <laughs> it started with a bracket and then ended with parentheses. Parenthe oh no, you can't do that. That's that's sin. Sans porn is sin. Oh my God. <laughs> That's terrible, Wesley. Never look at that. Never look at I, it again. I didn't. I didn't search for Sands being fat. I inflation. Fat. I, that's In, not my fault. Sands inflation. Um, 
but like yeah the fat tributes are always like booby streamers or like um there's this one there's this one girl on youtube who like was like at one million subscribers mm-hmm. i'll make a sex tape with my boyfriend and another girl and Whoa. she has a thick ass I, i'll say that she has a nice ass but did she do it did she hit one um, million she, yeah she actually she did it? that i i i didn't fat to it but i looked it up and i found it and it's her her and her friend sucking a sucking a his name is adam 22 and they're sucking his dick um i'm like <laughs> fuck you for calling yourself adam 22 idiot. <laughs> All right, fat tributes, everyone. Thank fat you. tributes. <laughs> Thank you for your time. But they have them on on uh, Pornhub too. But it's it's like they'll have them for actual Porn. porn stars. So it'll be actual women getting their so asses. It'll just be torn a, apart. like an actual like compilation for a certain porn star. Yeah, it'll be. I think. Yeah, I guess you could just at that point call it a compilation, right? It's Compilations like a, are. Uh, they're all right, but like sometimes it'll be like there will be one good thing in a thumbnail, and you'll just look for that, and it'll only be five seconds. It's true. It's true, but <laughs> it'll only be five seconds. It's sad. I I want my good porn. I don't want like yeah. compilation of nonsense with only one little good thing. <laughs> in compilation. It. The only good compilations are the the Overwatch uh, SFM compilations because well, those like, animations are like, only like two seconds long anyways. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are good because there's a lot. There's also the FUDA ones, which are rampant in our society. <laughs> FUDA? Tell me about this. What FUDA compilations? The FUDA Overwatch SF, SFM compilations. All right. right. Uh, they just specific give specific food. They just give Widowmaker or May. Well, no, not really May. They um, give Widowmaker, Tracer. Well, who, who's the bitch big, that starts with Z? Zarya. Zarya. They, yeah. They got her a huge dick. I think, <laughs> right? She's the buff yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. She's she the has a one. huge dick in these, you know? Okay. Uh, but yeah, they'll just give whoever they want a dick. Sometimes they won't give someone a dick, and it'll be they'll be the ones being <laughs> fucked. Right? Yeah. Definitely. It'll it'll usually be like diva, right? Oh yeah, diva. Diva usually is just getting fucked. Yeah, I think. I I, rem- I distinctly remember where one where diva is getting fucked by May with a huge cock. Yeah, I distinctly remember that. God, oh my. <laughs> fucking hell that's a that's a wide world on rule 34 and Pornhub. it's a wide world of, of overwatch porn there um fuck there's just a lot there's a lot it's of a, images it's a vast landscape of overwatch porn <laughs> it's a vast ocean I, I i dove head first the other day i found a lot of new ones after what i like to do is i like to be obsessed with one kind of hentai or one kind of porn and i leave and then I come back a month later and I'm like, okay. That's I'm a good strategy because you can you, you can, can see you can go hard and then you can leave and come back hard or it's right. Hard literally and hard figuratively. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be a week where I where I dedicate myself to one type of one type of hentai, one one franchise, <laughs> and uh, I'll jack off to it. Currently, um uh it's my hero academia because they're just coming out with new material for um the new the new season uh-huh of my hero academia they have this one bitch who um well there's kind of a plot twist with her so i won't spoil it for anyone but her name is cammy or something and uh mm-hmm. and she gets naked at one point like just full naked and she's really really curvy she got big titties big ass oh shit um, yeah, and she's she wears like a skin tight black suit. So you're like, I may have to actually watch My Hero Academia. Academia, Academia, Academia nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch an anime about nuts. My give, me some, <laughs> give me some almond titty. Oh, oh no, almond titty. There's I don't know it's how they make almond milk. Gabe. Is, is that right? I think there's a girl in My Hero Academia with almond titties. I think what? her name is Yao Yo Rizu Momo. You make silk vanilla almond milk sponsored. <laughs> All right, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by um, Silk Milk Almond Milk. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, All natural almond titty milk produced, squeezed, hand squeezed by a black man with a huge cock. 
<laughs> dick squeezed by a black man with a huge claw. He ta- his his dick Cock. becomes a boa constrictor and he squeezes the titties with his huge cock. It wraps around. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing the titties, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like oranges. It's true. You so. saw uh, all this talk about porn reminded me, and and also of the fab tributes. It reminded me of a story of when I was very young. I'll t- I'll tell you the story right now. I'll tell the viewers the story. Oh, okay. Okay. Now imagine a small boy around eight years old doesn't know what porn is. He's kind of just sitting in his room. Now it's it's dark. It's maybe eleven, and he's supposed to be asleep, but he isn't. And his TV is on. But it's 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 not displaying anything. It's one of those old ass TVs, the box TVs. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Big and it's pack. it's blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just display, displaying blue light throughout the room. And and young young Gabe, young small boy Gabe, has has an iPhone 3G with Ooh. with YouTube installed. Okay, <laughs> YouTube so, ready. Yeah, so he's watching a Minecraft video. He he goes down to the comments, and one commenter, I don't know what I don't know what his what his username was. I'll call him XXX Pussy Slayer sixty nine XXX. All right, yeah. um, it's probably what it was. Yeah, yeah, and he he commented on on one of the videos. He commented something like, "Hey kids, look up boobs on Google." <laughs> <laughs> so I I did. I looked up boobs on Google and I found it. And and my small brain didn't know what was going on, right? So I, yeah. I ventured back to YouTube. I looked up boobs, and I found many many images of just boobs, but with like the bra or or the shirt on, touching a girl touching her titties. Yeah. But even as a child, I said that is not enough. I need <laughs> I need I need more. I need to see this. I need to see the titty. So I, I delve even to, I look up, I look up full bare titty on YouTube trying to find it. And I don't, I don't find anything for a long time. However, however, as YouTube was in its infancy, I found a, a rare video. I found one video. Well, I found two videos. I found one video with a girl who literally just showed her, her nipples, her titties, the entire thing. Just Whoa. that. In a video on YouTube? Yeah, in a video on YouTube. She was nice. she was mixed, so she kind of had she had some color to her. I was like, fuck. Um, and then I also found another video where a girl was talking about her titty implants and uh, she had tape over her nipples, so it was technically allowed. And uh, mm. I didn't, I didn't touch my peepee then, but I got a, I got a hard on. I distinctly remember that. Um, and I, and I remember walking around in my really dimly blue lit room, and I would sit in the corner and crouch down on my knees and kind of just watch this video while it was on the ground. Yeah, and, I would do stuff yeah. like that too. I would, I would like, <laughs> whenever I was watching like uh, YouTube videos that were maybe a little risque, I would, yeah. I would, I would be in like the office room, which was still open to the rest of the house, uh-huh. but um, but I would just and like the desk was sideways, so if someone walked into the room, they could totally see what you were doing. So I just kind of <laughs> scrunched myself up in the corner of the desk, and I would right. like turn the thing. I would turn the monitor over a little bit, and I, I would like <laughs> I'd be leaning on to my right, and I'd be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. "Oh fuck!" That reminds me of how I use how I watch porn on my laptop. I I turn my laptop so that the door, it's it, the back is facing the door, and I lock my door anyways. But if someone like if my dad comes in and he bust the door down with his big boot he won't see my the porn he won't see it yeah oh uh, but uh, i mean he knows what hentai is have i told you that he knows what he hentai not, your is. father knows what hentai is yeah i asked him i said dad what is, what is hentai we were um it was i was at a funeral and afterwards after the funeral um uh the people who were holding the funeral kind of wanted it to be they wanted to go to an ice house and kind of just hang out because they wanted the person to be remembered as a happy thing. You know, they wanted, they wanted to drink beer, that kind of stuff. So yeah. you're at an ice house. So my dad was a little bit, I, he did, he, he, he was driving and he wasn't drunk, but he was, he, he was a little bit, he was a little bit risky. He was having fun, you know? Uh-huh. So I asked him, dad, do you know what hentai is? He said, Oh yeah, that's like a anime porn. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yes, dad, what's anime? He's like, it's Japanese cartoons. Your so dad my dad knows it. what anime and, 
and uh and hentai is i asked him what if he knows any anime he said uh naruto and i, I was like yeah all right <laughs> that works so my dad knows what hentai is i think i think it's because they can look at uh, your search history and so he, he probably looked at my search history he looked up hentai and he was like mm, no my, my son's watching this he's not a christian anymore <laughs> he's, uh, not, he's not a good christian boy <laughs> it's true so, listen my <laughs> all right, you go you go all right all right so you um you said you fucking what'd you do you you immediately once you saw what boobs were you saw them bounce around you were like all right more of this more of this more that you kept intensifying yes. it i was good with uh, just lesbians doing shit <laughs> <laughs> well i found that but i realized no there has to be something more than this I, there has to be there has to be, i had there's there's a deeper level to this. i, I there's thought a that eventually layer. and eventually i looked it up on google and i was like I holy was shit <laughs> oh. <laughs> i went to my mom's apartment so i immediately went to stripping videos where women on pornhub would just strip and they would show their titties and their ass and their vet vagine except vagine, i didn't yeah. like the i didn't like the vagine and i'm still yeah. i'm still one of those people that's like mm, a vagine it's not nice to look at i don't not like looking at a, a crusty vagine as a kid pussy scared me the first time i saw it i was like what is that <laughs> listen i've come to appreciate and learn to love the pussy but that doesn't mean it look good neither does a dick a dick doesn't look good but it it, it you know you you appreciate it for what it does for the the process that it it initiates <laughs> for the mechanisms of the, <laughs> the dick the the machinations that doesn't work <laughs> what is a machination Leslie? a machination is a plot or a scheme god all right then i have i'm plotting a machination to enter a girl's pussy there it works now there you go that, that that's perfect <laughs> i'm a writer i know how to how to put these in and how to put these big these big words Words in the books yeah please do okay. it <laughs> please okay, please I'll have a character it. who says i'm going to machinate my penis inside her <laughs> i will just for you wesley i'll put you up you know those uh the books where they have like the the starting page it says it says for my wife or whatever you know yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna say for my best friend wesley oh thank you you're welcome that's my first book is going to be dedicated to you. There's going to be Big Penis Jones. He's going to be a character. <laughs> penis Jones. That would be Jones. the best book ever. I'd be it, it fully would. engrossed. Kid. It would. Okay. But let me finish my, let me finish what I, what happened to me, right? All so, right. you know, I found stripping and my mom caught me. And I think I talked about this on the last podcast, maybe, or maybe I've talked to you, talked to you about it. But, uh -huh. um, basically my my mom found it and i was like scared so i ran into my my room and i didn't i didn't come back out i was like no and uh but eventually <laughs> she was like you know don't don't think women are your objects gabe don't don't view women as your objects don't become a rapist shit like that yeah yeah you told me about this this was not on the podcast though okay um, well yeah that happened and um and then my and then the first time I, I i i came was the first time i looked at um i looked at porn for real real porn real porn really yeah, real porn yeah it was the first time you came because yeah. i was because as a kid i would just watch it and my dick would be hard but i'd be like i don't know what to do e people put their dicks inside of girls um, <laughs> yeah but like and i even watched like mass like um like i would see that you could just jack off the dick sometimes and i'd be like okay i know i can do this but i'm not ready i'm too i'm, I'm not ready I must, to do this i must i must study a bit more and i kept watching porn no i didn't see a dick in porn until the first time i came i didn't look at penis until like i didn't even look at my really? penis in depth yeah well i didn't i didn't like um i remember the first time well, I was just looking for like uh, girls doing stuff in porn because right. I, I I still hadn't seen a dick yet, and so I, I went yeah. on like some major porn site, and I clicked on a video. I just re like randomly click clicked on one, mm -hmm. and um, it was this fucking bald dude, and he, he took his big cock out, and I was like, Whoa, what the fuck? And then I closed <laughs> yeah. the video, and I, <laughs> I went to my friend's house, and I was like, I was like upset still, so I wasn't having as much fun as I would be. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> but then later, like 
days later, I, I went back on the uh, the porn site again and I watched more porn with dicks in it this time. And I was with like, dicks. all right, it's not that bad. It's a, it, ain't, it ain't that bad. You were it scared was, at first, it, but you got yeah, back. It was scary. Got dicks back is scary. Um, but my dad was at the store and we lived in a condo and he was at the store and I was just kind of sitting there and I, I was like, hmm. So I got out my phone, which at that point I was probably in like fifth grade. So I had an iPod. So I didn't get out my phone. I got my, my iPod, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and I looked up, I looked up, um, like woman with big titties and there was a Pornhub link. I went to the Pornhub link. Now there wasn't any fuckage yet. It wasn't a girl getting fucked. It was a girl giving a, a handy, a hand job to a guy. That was all it was. Um, it was Madison Ivy. Um, oh shit! Yeah, she had these a bright blue bra on, bright blue bra and panties on. She stripped first, which got me into it. But then it quickly cut to this guy's dick, and at first I was oh, like, "Ooh, shit. ooh!" And uh, but I was like, "No, this is okay." <laughs> I was like, "This is the <laughs> next level. This is the truest form." I would, I um, would, I would have to do this eventually. But here I yeah, am. Yeah, this is the yeah. I was in my 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 childish mind had matured to understand. Yes, this will happen. This will this was, occur. This was inevitable. Yeah, I was gonna see Dick eventually. I might, <laughs> yeah, and then and then so I kept watching, and my pee pee got hard. I was like, well. I'm going to have to masturbate eventually. I'm going to have to touch my big pee pee. So I'm going to do it now. So at first they started rubbing it through my, I'm not going to give an in-depth description, but first it was rubbage through the pants. Then it went full on jacking, you know, over a period of time. And then, and then my dick got really hot, steamy, you know, you know, the feeling of your first, your first jack off. So I, was like, I do. Mm. I was like, mm, I'm not doing that. So I, I stopped. Yeah. I did but that I, too. Yeah. But I was <laughs> I like, stopped. but I was like, hmm, that felt good. So I came back to it a couple of minutes later. I kept doing it, but I stopped yeah. again. But the third time I kept going, I couldn't stop. My brain was like, mm, you ain't stopping this time. I came. <laughs> it was, and, and your first come is always very, very translucent. You know, is it? I don't it remember. Is. It is because your body isn't producing sperm in spades yet. So it's just semen, the liquid, the, the uh, gooey liquid. So it's very yeah. translucent. Okay, so I'm sure. I, I'm sure everyone's still listening to this. Uh, I hope with bated breath. <laughs> <laughs> so I came. I came translucent semen, and uh, in my pants, and I kind of just put my pants back on and ran away. Um, you yeah. ran away. Yeah, I, I remember. Off. I would. I would start it, and then. Um, I would get close to coming and then I would just run into the bathroom and I'd be like, ah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, it's true. Oh my God. First jack offs are always scary. God. They are. But like other it, shit, like the first time for everything in your fucking life, except for like eating is scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like here, here's another story I have. You know, you know how when your body started going through puberty, everyone was telling you, "Oh, it's gonna start," and you weren't like, you weren't scared at first. Like you're like, "Ah, oh, it'll be fine. It doesn't matter." But then some stuff starts happening, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" You know, I had one of those um, when my dick started growing. I got a big, a huge vein on my dick, and I thought I was getting cancer. <laughs> I thought it was a cancerous tumor growing on my dick, and I thought uh, my dick was gonna have to get amputated. No, you, know what no. I mean? <laughs> you ever have that, Wesley? Uh, maybe something like that, where I look, I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, "Something's different." Good night. Right. Uh, I I don't know. I don't think it was that intense. I don't think I thought there was a tumor on my. I, I think my, I was like, "There's something different about my dick. I should tell someone <laughs> about it." But I was like, I don't, I don't know if it's bad or if it's normal or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to tell someone about it. And eventually I came to my common sense. And I, I pushed the tumor in and it was squishy like a vein. I was like, yeah, that's just a vein. I'm good. So I didn't, I didn't care. It was, all right. it was all good. Let's stop talking about dicks and start talking about pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about I don't want to talk no. about porn that much, Wesley. Yeah, okay, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop talking. Let's, we're, we're not gay. Okay, disclaimer. Disclaimer. Big disclaimer at the Big Gay oh, Podcast. Oh, wait, we should have said this in the first episode. <laughs> it's true, but we'll start saying it now. Big disclaimer. 
uh, there there are no gay people on this podcast. The zero gay we people. Would like, we would like to have some gay people on. We're not we're not discouraging that. <laughs> <right. laughs> it's we, true. We support we, gay people. We support lesbians kissing and gay men kissing. Although we would not jack off to gay men kissing, but we support it fully. Um, but there are no currently there are no gay people gay people on this podcast. Neither neither me. Fuck my computer just went off. Whatever. Gabriel Iglesias. To, Gabriel Iglesias. Neither me, Gabriel, or uh, Wesley McGee are gay, <laughs> um, and we've never claimed to be gay in any form. Uh, um, yeah, we have not. We have not gone to the choir and been like, "We are gay." Sing us a song, and that's then they true. go, "You are gay." <laughs> Dude, that's what that's what fucking Christianity teaches. I hate that part of Christianity. Are we gonna get into religion now? I think I think that's a good from porn to religion, um, from jack <laughs> off to religion. But like like I uh, I used to be Catholic. My dad's really Catholic, right? Yeah. And I think Catholicism literally just teaches like, oh yeah, just talk to Jesus, tell him what you did wrong, and he'll forgive you, no questions asked. And I was always Ooh. like, "That's fucking dumb." Because <laughs> if you if you say that like a, like um like if I could just say, "I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to um, have sex with my sister." My yeah, bad. You can't, you can't he would say just that to your dad. Yeah, he would just be like, "He, he I didn't." Uh, for the record, I did not have sex with my sister. I'm just saying a really bad thing. Okay, but if I said that, he wouldn't just be like, "Oh yeah, dude, cool." <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. You're cool. <laughs> you can't just say sorry sometimes. Sometimes you gotta face repercussions. It's true, but I guess the whole point is that Jesus loves you, but he's not teaching me to to learn the lessons of my actions and stop doing dumb shit. Listen, he's just when teaching you, me to when say you sorry. Mess up, when you mess up bad, something bad happens, and then you learn. You're like, okay, don't do that right. again. You say sorry, but sometimes, like, if you burn a house down, you gotta go to jail. For, the, for, for burning that is hell jail but like at the same time I can't just say I'm sorry officer okay you don't have to go to jail see you later if I burn I'm, a house down I'm very sorry I'll go to my room I promise <laughs> what, if that, what if that's what I was like like a uh, fucking um, like society? a shoplifter steals a thing and the, the cops like push him up against the car and they're like you're going to bed early Fucker, you're going. You're going to time out, idiot. <laughs> I just imagine a big black man. Hey, hey, put your hands on the put your hands on the car, and he puts his hand on the car and shit. He's like, he's like, what are you gonna say for yourself, fucker? You're going to your room, bitch. You're going to your fucking room. You're going to time out. You're going to sit in the corner. Think about what you've done. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he sits. He sits in the corner. The cop, not the cop. The the criminal sits in the corner, and he's. He, he sits he sits on his stool and he looks in the corner he's like he's like mm. and then and then and then three hours later the cop comes back he's like have you learned your lesson and the criminal's like mm -hmm. he's like okay you can go you can leave now you can leave now good boy here's a lollipop <laughs> and he leaves <laughs> he pats his head ruffles his hair he gives him a lollipop uh, oh my god that would be a good society. I would like that. Then I could like rape women and be okay. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I don't know. Okay. Listen here. Let me give you a logical argument for this. If you are brought up with, with the option of raping women without any repercussions, you would rape women. You would probably rape women. You a would rape bit. women. <laughs> I can't believe I just fucking said that. Listen, I'm gonna be broadcasting this to people. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying that if you could rape women, you would rape women? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me let me tell you this. Like, okay, Listen. if there was a law that changed right now that said you can rape women, 
I, I would not. Rape, I would not rape women. But if I was brought up in a society that condoned, that said, yes, you can rape women, I would. I would probably rape women because it would seem natural and true to me. What if they're crying that time and screaming? Period. Gabe, if a girl's crying and screaming, I would fucking run away. You know what? Maybe you're away, a different person. Like, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe. Maybe now in that timeline, you're attracted to crying and screaming because that's what you've been taught for your entire life. I've been like. That's that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like if you were taught that raping women was good and fine, you would rape women and you would be okay with it. I'm not condoning raping women in current day. And if in some fucked up society today they said, "Yeah, you can rape women now," I wouldn't condone it. But yeah. if I was brought up in a society, in a, okay, in a yeah, world yeah, yeah. where right. you could rape women, you would rape women. That's yeah. all I'm saying. That makes sense. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I wanted to say. I kind of I that's fucked not, up with saying just, just, I think you I said, was you said women. raping women? <laughs> yeah, I would if it was legal. <laughs> no, I, no. In my current form, in my current, in the current timeline of events, I would not rape women in any, 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 <laughs> any condition. And I don't condone here at the Big Gay Podcast. We don't condone raping women. Disclaimer: The Big Gay Podcast does not condone raping women. Thank you. Do not rape <laughs> women. <laughs> do not. Do not rape, rape in general. Actually, do not rape. Do not touch women unless they don't ask you touch, to touch them. Don't touch big old titties unless they're real. Consent. Real consent. Okay, listen. I people have been talking talking about consent. I w- people were talking about like, oh, you need a, you need fucking like a verbal yes to fuck. That to Listen, me is gay. That to me is dumb. You, if you get the fuck me eyes, you're going to get <laughs> fucking. <laughs> if, if you play the craft, you're getting the shaft, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I don't, I, I think... It, you don't need like a like a you don't no you, you, don't, you don't need, need to a, sign a binding contract. You don't to fuck need a, a woman, right? I'm going to fuck you. Yes, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I want to put a penis inside of you. Is that <laughs> is that okay? Can I have consent? And then it's just that the woman's like, mm-hmm, yes, I I consent. No. <laughs> Why is everyone apes in this world? <laughs> it would be the opposite. If you were apes, you would be. Ra- I think if you were in the past, uh, uh, probably you would rape women as like an ape, as a caveman. Cavemen raped women. Totally. Cavemen definitely raped women. Yeah, they look up. Look at the science for that. And raped them. <laughs> That's what happened. S- slammed a big rock into them. L- look it up. Uh, look it up. Uh, we'll look it up later. Maybe right now. If you want to yeah, look it up right now, look at it. You can look it up. What? What do you want me to look up? <laughs> Dave cavemen rape women. <laughs> they definitely cavemen. Definitely. I don't know. Some there are misconceptions about cavemen. Cavemen uh, are smarter I, than we give credit. I almost typed in "reap women." So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. G- give me the update. Give me the. Give me the. Give me the goods. Sex education during the time of cavemen. <laughs> Sex education uh, for cavemen. I don't, I don't think that exists. I'm going to say now. I don't think that exists. I don't. I don't. I don't. This isn't real. Hang on. Did Stone Age men and women sleep around, or should we care? No, we shouldn't care. <laughs> okay, we're not going to get the answers we looked for. Wait, um, cavemen courtship and mythology. Right. Evolved cl- <laughs> Somewhere we get the idea that caveman courtship involved a man clubbing a woman over her head and dragging <laughs> her by the hair to the cave where he would presumably copulate with the unconscious or unwise, un- otherwise unwilling woman. This idea, as these two products show, is generally considered a good shuckle. I mean... Okay, that's it's obvious that humans wouldn't do that because if animals don't do that, animals, you know, birds show their big tail feathers. So like uh, now, like a guy would, you know, show him a big stick and he would be like, this is my big stick. This is my cave. And the woman would be like, "Mm -hmm, yes, you are strong. You are are strong. I could. Yes, I will be with you. It's true. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it'd be something like that. But I think there was at least one. There was definitely one caveman that raped. 
<laughs> big rape Johnson the caveman. Yeah, big rapey. Big, big rapey. Rape-o. I just imagine going to going to a history museum and they're like, so this is a caveman exhibit. This is a full caveman skeleton. And there is DNA and and uh bone evidence that shows that this caveman raped multiple women every day as as a as a, <laughs> as a a routine and as such we have nicknamed him rapey <laughs> and he's just standing around looking at this big caveman skull <laughs> his jaw is like slacked to the side a little bit and he's like ooh rapey. he's like ooh yeah they show they show a, a video of him raping women in the in the history museum with like a like black and white and like actors yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would want to go to a history museum and have a big caveman raping a woman on a on a flat screen plasma TV. I don't think I would be okay with that. I wouldn't want that either, but if it exists, I'm going to go see it. It sounds really funny. Really? Yeah, if it existed, I would see it for the shock value, I think. It's true. Yeah. Oh caveman may have raped women. Good night. C- caveman. Scientific fact of the day. Caveman may have raped women. We don't know. We, it might not have been a common died. occurrence. I Let's mean, go back in time. Just watch cavemen until they rape. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you're sitting in like a fa- a fake cave with binoculars, and you see <laughs> you see you see big rapey <laughs> do like the a big- cardboard <laughs> cave spray painted. <laughs> Yeah, you see Big Rapey clamber out of his cave. He's like, ooh, ooh. he's got his big chompers out and he's looking around and then, and you're like, is today the day? You, you've got like a, a, a scraggly beard. And you got a, like a notebook and you're writing yeah, it. Yeah, you're, like, you're scribbling and you're like, oh, 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 oh. And, then, and then he he comes out and a woman approaches him. You're like, yes, please, please. And then Rapey, no. Rapey, Rapey, <laughs> picks his, Rapey picks his big club up and he smacks the woman. And and he, he, she's like conscious. He drags him into the into the into the cave, and and you're like, yes, it happened. I have evidence. It happened. I will now go into forward time. But then Rapey was behind you, and he grabs onto you, and he goes, (laughs) he goes, he goes goes back to the future with you. Oh my god! He rapes women in the present now. He's 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 running rampant in the present, raping women. Yeah, like a, like a around. huge ass caveman breaking through walls, raping people. <laughs> God, no! God damn it! That would be a hell. That would be. Hell. Imagine the military going. <laughs> they're like, "Rape you! Come out with your hands up!" He's, like, he's just like, <laughs> yeah. He he's got over. like five women tied up around him, and he's like, "No." He's like, ooh, ooh. He's got, like, why? Oh, five wait. women tied up with, with, I with thought he had like armor vines. made of tied up women. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he was, he's running. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that way they can't shoot him. God, I mean, this, this episode's horrible. <laughs> we can't. No, listen. No, no, no. It's okay. Listen, this is all theoretical. Um, this one, I mean, this is like, f- I'm sure there's an episode of South Park where this happens. Where a caveman rapes people? Yeah, a caveman rapey the caveman. Rapo Jay. It, it was probably a, a, a jingle that came. Rapey, rapey. That's you probably know. true. God, I don't want to make that jingle. Oh, fuck. Everyone, caveman probably. F- oh. Everyone, please make a ringtone of Gabe going rapey, rapey. <laughs> make a ringtone i'll make it my ringtone for my my girlfriend of of eight months eight of eight months i will make that her That's ringtone not- uh yeah. here i'll say this camilla if you ever watch this um and cl- if you ever watch this i i profusely apologize for everything i've said and if i've ever said made a joke about you that you that you didn't you didn't like i profusely apologize i'm a terrible human being the end good night uh, I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her a message that says Gabe. Gabe said he's gonna rape you. No, don't say that, <laughs> please. I don't, I don't, even, want, I don't no. even. I can't even send her a message or anything. I don't have anything. You have her on oh, Instagram. Wait, Instagram, right. Yeah, you have her on Instagram. You can send her a message. Uh, yeah, guys, follow my Instagram at. Uh, I'm not. I'm not giving my Instagram out to random people. Fuck you. I don't want you to find out where I live. I.
I don't think I would ever make a podcast Instagram. I feel like Instagram is the worst platform for podcasts and YouTube. Uh, Twitter would be good. Twitter, would, yeah, we need it. Uh, yeah, I think once we get like a a big following, I'll I'll make a Twitter. Um, if we get not like a big following, if we get like twenty five people, if we get um, twenty five subs. Please, yeah, yeah guys, guys, if you do like the video, please actually like it so we can tell if you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the guy who's like like my video because i need ad revenue or or i need my video to get more views yeah but um, i just want to know if you actually liked it or you didn't like it yeah <laughs> it's it's i don't have ad revenue on these videos you will never see an ad on these videos ever yeah. because i i'm i'm i cannot do adsense yet um so please if you like the content genuinely just like the video um and if you want to hear more of it subscribe please Please subscribe. Please, um, I beg you. <laughs> this is all I do. <laughs> I have nothing please, else in my life. If you don't subscribe, rape you. The caveman will come rape me. <laughs> <Yeah>, no. <laughs> if you don't subscribe, <laughs> or it could be a threat. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna send rapey the caveman to touch you in in the night. In the night. Uh, <sighs> no, we can't say that. Fuck. But anyways, yeah. I just want to say that I want to linger too much. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, I wanna, I wanna ask you, Wesley. All right, you've been yes. playing. You've been excited about the Endless Legend expansions. Uh huh. Right. What? What? Tell, tell me. Tell me what they're. Have they added any? What's the new info on it? What are they adding? I want to hear about right. this. So, for those of you who don't know, Endless Legend is a. Uh, a 4x, 4x game yeah which means it's it's like civ i like endless legend better than civ uh if you like civ more and you hate endless legend it's fine i just think endless legend is immensely better with art and uh interesting shit i think civ 5 is better than endless legend i'll say that we'll debate about that after this okay but civ 6 is not Civ 6 yeah. bad. Civ 6 will steal your information. <laughs> Civ 6 has spyware. That's right. Fuck. Okay. All right. Okay. Continue. But the um, everyone thought that they weren't gonna update Endless Legend anymore because they have a they have a space game now. Yeah. Um, but they they just announced this new expansion. It actually comes out tomorrow if we want to date the podcast. Uh. Yeah fucking it's gonna have it's gonna add new mechanics like a whole new uh weather mechanic where it'll give bonuses to you um it's gonna add a new faction of these little uh kind of tribal lava guys who make big golems to do their work what big golems yeah they make big they make these big buff golems to oh my God. carry them around and i want to be there work. please oh can we get, all right we gotta get all the people together and we're just gonna do a playthrough where we're all just the same I, faction i thought about this i was like we all have to play this faction we all have to make the world as volcanic as possible because <laughs> that, that's what they do they can actually terraform the world and make it volcanic oh my fucking god that's their that's their quirk they have to make stuff volcanic before they well, can like do I, shit well yeah they only um they only really benefit from the new uh biome which is like ash volcanic bullshit right but they can terraform a lot of shit it does okay. take a lot of minerals though right and so basically so like i guessing like their gameplay style is like you got to set up where there's min big minerals around um you gotta mine them you gotta get mining operations and you gotta fucking terraform your shit so you get bonuses stuff like that yeah you can well actually they do have something like that i read um they have these golem camps where they just have their golems work in a specific spot and they can put it anywhere within their region they don't have to connect it to their building their main building oh. so it's pretty okay. good so their golems do big. they're like big builders big workers big but yeah I, I just wanted to like a full lobby of eight people trying to make the world <laughs> a volcanic wasteland as fast as possible that'll be good i might like endless legend more than civ 5 after this god fucking uh okay that sounds cool we're i we we are definitely playing that uh tomorrow tomorrow yes when it comes out. yeah it comes out tomorrow I'm I'll, I'll download it tonight i'll fucking god you better i will but i think okay here's my reasoning for civ 5 right uh-huh 
So Civ Five makes sense. And when I say that, I don't mean that Endless Legend has dumb mechanics or it's like, fuck this. This is the stupidest thing ever. Um, and, and Endless Legend is balanced. But when I say it makes sense, the... the uh, Sorry. I burped a little bit. I fucking threw up in my mouth. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can't. God, I'm Just fucking don't disgusting. <laughs> don't, okay. don't be like... I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but so Civ Five, you know, it's got a real ass shit in it, right? So it's got a real ass people, real ass faction, Chinese people, Japanese people, yeah, the Aztecs, which it's like okay, you know, and it's got um, it's got archers, it's got all that shit, but which it makes it uh, make sense immediately. Like you can jump into the game and be like, you need a builder, and it's like okay, got it, right? Understandable. You need a spearman, okay, got it. Uh, build a library. Okay, all right. Now I know what that is. I know what that does. You know, to my tiles, I can get a, yeah, a hold yeah. of what that does. But and this legend is like build a, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> it's like oh wait okay right? yeah yeah to build to expand your cities you need to build something called borough streets. And the first time I read that, I guess I didn't know the word borough because I never <laughs> yeah. looked at it. And so I was just like blow streets. I didn't right. know I never made it because I and I never expanded my cities because of that. It was horrible. Right. And uh, well, OK, so I think that doesn't make Sify better for everyone than this legend, because I think if you spend a lot of time on these games and you Civ put a lot of five time, is really just like the basic um, 4X. Yeah. It's if like you, if you're, if you're going to play a 4X, you've already played Civ five. It, it's you, true. Everyone like, knows you, what Civ five is. You know? If you play a lot of 4Xs, you're going to play Civ five. Civ- uh, Civilization yeah. is like the Call of Duty of 4X games. Yeah, it's 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 it, well, it's good. I guess Call of Duty is good for what it is. It's done what it what it needs to do, but it's just not it's not new or inventive or anything. And anything right? made by fucking Paradox is the Dark Souls of 4X or t- strategy <laughs> right. games. God damn it! But Paradox um, makes these fucking hard i don't i just can't get into them there are, it's true there's so i much want to get like, into hearts of iron i want to get into uh stellaris stellaris yeah fuck i love i love space games and stellaris seems like such a different space game to uh endless space you know endless space is it's not like tile based but it's it's basically like space based right you move yeah. spaces. You there's you can only go to like star systems or stuff like that. Um, right. The, what, Endless uh, Space Two is actually getting an expansion tomorrow as well. Oh yeah, that's right. We got okay. We'll play Endless. Le- I want. I, I I like Endless Legend more. I think. Just I because, do too. I just like because, Endless Legend more. Um, just because how it is, it's like fantasy and all. Yeah, this. the four X, the fantasy stuff. But that that was my point. Was that. Civ 5 for me, since I'm not really into 4X games, at least at the moment, maybe I, um, since I'm recently, I've been putting way more time into games when I enjoy them, even a little bit, I'll put a, like, you know, 10 hours in them uh, yeah. over the course of like three days. So maybe I'll, I'll get into Endless Legend more. But like, Civ 5 is just way more accessible. It makes sense. Um, so for people like me, where I'm not into, strategy games and forex games a lot it's it's really good and i'm i'm just like okay yeah i understand that and i can have fun with it <laughs> with friends and you know that kind of stuff especially because when i play with friends i'm not super like into it I, if, if i'm not winning i don't really care that kind of stuff oh yeah well we have a friend that when we play with them uh he gets like if you try and be warlike and you try and conquer shit he'll be like oh hmm. yeah uh. yeah with those games like there if if we if all of us were really good at them if all of our friend group were really fucking good at forex games then we would be like okay i'm gonna fucking destroy you this game but since like yeah. the only people that are good at it are you and maybe jeff um, Jeff is pretty good. We we had a showdown true. one match where he true. he built like this huge ass. They're called Guardians. He built this huge ass dude that just it, like <laughs> shambled over to me and took out like two of my uh, armies. Yeah, and I was like shit, and then I killed it, and I was like, okay, we're, we're back on this, and then I Oof. killed Jeff. That's right. 
But you guys are like predominantly the best at strategy games. And then there's like me and Kelsey who are like, hey, I want to I want to do it. I want to play this. Yeah. Y'all just kind of fuck around in it's the games, good. which is fun to like see because your your cities are named like uh, <laughs> Big Dick One and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't I feel like that's kind of an insult to Kelsey. He might he might he might listen to all this. I don't mean to insult you. It's fine. I'm bad. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm fucking terrible. Kelsey's Kelsey. pretty good at the spy mechanics, which I have not. I haven't even tried them, really. Yeah. But yeah, I, we're more casual than like really into it. I bet if we tried, me and Kelsey, we could we could do good. Um, if anyone tried, they could do good, you know, but like it's I'm, I'm just I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just naming my city Almond Titty. You know, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, me, I'm like, I will name this city. Um, big titty dick. Big titty because, dick. Because I'm get I'm making this army that'll do this. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's that's kind of like why why I like Civ Five more for me. But I understand that like endless. I think endless legend, um, just has it's cooler. Like once you get into it, it's like fuck. Okay, this is this is cool. Yeah. Because the differences are are better. Like. In Civ Five, it's like the Chinese have an opium problem that you have oh. to deal with, um, and so it's like, uh, okay, uh, sure, that's cool. And in this legend, it's like the fucking suit of armor vampires are <laughs> taking all the dust from the oceans that all the, the gold, that yeah. the big barnacle fishmen want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. And then they have they have normal ass people if you want that too. Um, yeah, they just, have the one like, race of uh, normal people who are actually in the in in the space too. Which oh is- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But I, I feel like if I get back into when and if I get back into Endless Legend, I'll probably be playing. Uh, I want to do ra- roving clans. I really fucking enjoy their their thing. I like trading. I like uh, beetle, big beetle. They can't go beetle. to war either. Yeah, that's true. So. That's true. Um, cause I, I've never done well with uh, war and getting big, um, big people, big, big armies. So I'd either do, is it Draken? Is it Draken? Is that what they are? They are the boys who try and make everyone peaceful. Friends. Yeah. So yeah, either that which is or kind of obnoxious clans. in this world. It's true. Um, do a do a fucking Drake and update where you remove the fucking dumb mechanics where they're always trying do to a, make do you a good. Drake and update where you remove the Drake and <laughs> so I don't like no don't remove remove their quirk and add a better quirk but keep the design because I like the dragon the sand dragon people design the big old dragons I don't yeah, know I like I'm, like that the dragons are meant to be like the peaceful faction in Endless Legend but I feel like um. And in the space two, they did it a lot better, and it was with a fucking uh, faction that the players helped make. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the unfallen. The, the they're unfallen, just big, the tree they're big tree people who that's, spread vines through space. Yeah, that's who I was playing in Endless Space Two, and that one time I I went to war with you, anyways. But I was it's it was broken at one point, like to the point where I just had a massive army for no fucking reason, and so I just I cheesed the fuck out of the system, um, the war system. And I remember you got really fucking pissed off. You're like, "Fuck you, you ape!" Yeah, because <laughs> I was sad. playing as the faction that was supposed to be um you know war. like a big war like yeah. just war you know that's who you I, always play. I, I love factions that are just war and like insects i like i don't know that came, probably came from the zerg i don't know why yeah 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 oh fuck you you're into starcraft like everybody's into their own thing i think you know like you and jeff seem like you're more into strategy games i don't know i'm, I'm not talking i'm not i'm just gonna speak for jeff but he seems like the kind of guy that's in the strategy yeah, plays more strategy i think yeah yeah but he plays but then, a lot of other shit too me and kelsey are like minecraft 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 yeah y'all y'all like games where you can build build shit kelsey more loves- open more open world kelsey yeah. is our friend and jeff is also our friend uh for those who don't know yeah we didn't explain that i'm fucking sorry but yeah we're, we're sorry they're our big friends right um yeah there i mean everyone's in their own shit everyone's good at their own shit i think it's it's cool 
yeah. but like i'm glad that i can just play whatever i want with anyone like you know me and me and kelsey and jeff and you can all get into endless legend and play it and it's, and it's good yeah, yeah, or we, we could all play Minecraft and get mad at each other for <laughs> taking our land. God <laughs> fucking damn it. Uh, I, uh, that's that's what I want to talk about, is I've just been wasting my days on Minecraft. Here's here's part of the reason why I haven't been doing the podcast. Part of it is because I've just been late. I'm a lazy fucker. I'm Audience, I'm, every day I ask Gabe, hey, you want to do the podcast? And he says, uh, Minecraft and then girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go talk to my girlfriend. I've decided, all right, you know what? Um, I'm going to make time for the podcast, just like I make time for, for Camilla, for my girlfriend, uh, during, during the evenings. I'm going to make time for the podcast. So that's why I've come back. I've I've vowed to do more. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna get off my lazy ass and do more of these things. Um, I'm gonna do my fucking best. If you don't see a podcast for another three weeks, just fucking unsubscribe, dislike all my videos, all our videos, all the videos, and fucking <laughs> leave a comment that says you're fucking gay. I hate you. I want but you. But don't to worry, die. guys. I won't let that happen. Yeah, what's this gonna do his best to drag me back? Um. Yeah, I, I feel like the more we do it, the better we'll get at doing these podcasts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I still like, think, I still think we could work on some stuff. We did talk about dicks for a long time. It's um, true. Uh, I, I like here. Here's what I was th- so like earlier. We were trying to be big funny, right? We were just focusing on being big funny, and I think that segment was good. I didn't hate that segment. I think it's, it was good. But now, like, we just had a whole entire long segment where we talked about real shit, where we talked about video games. We talked about, and we, we were just casual. Like, this is the kind of tone, this kind of stuff I want to talk about more often. And if dicks and pussy comes into the equation every now and again, that's that's cool. I like that. Um, I like dicks and pussy. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? I like dicks, pussy, and hentai. Ha ha. But, like, that's what I was talking about when I said I want to kind of do a different format of the podcast. You know, I just want to talk, be chill, be like, hey, yeah, uh, Minecraft, video games, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't want to always be like big pussy and stuff like stuff will come out of it. You know, I think I think um the rapey segment <laughs> the rapey that was segment really that long segment. where we talked about rape i'm sorry for those of you who are upset by rape <laughs> yeah i'm sorry yeah if you if you are upset upset by rape this is not the podcast for you if um, you were upset by rape you probably already left so yeah yeah if, if you somehow listen to this if you leave a, a mean comment in the in a in the description i won't i won't uh uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that because I understand. Yeah. But yeah, we the understand. reason we're sorry. The reason I wasn't making this podcast because I was a lazy shit, and I was also I've been playing Minecraft for 20 years. I've done 11 hours in Minecraft 1.13, just building one singular structure, um, which I will say I'm really proud of. It looks good. I like it. What about you, Wesley? Do you think it looks good? Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I want to see it finished though. Yeah, I think the yeah, first version looked good. This right? man has been sitting on Minecraft all day, and he made half a building. <laughs> it's because um, probably the first eight hours was spent on the first version of the structure. So okay. I spent a long time. Does I did like at first I wanted the structure to be a tent, but then I was like, "Fuck that!" So then I went back and I started doing the two towers. Um, but then I knew because I didn't plan out the structure in the way that I wanted to, the way, the way, like I made it a tent structure and I immediately converted it to a tower structure and, uh, I won't bore everyone with Minecraft talk for too long, but uh, I'm pretty bored. (laughs) You're bored of Minecraft talk. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go quick, but because I converted it too quickly, um, it didn't have any planning going into it to make it look good so i had to make a lot of compromises and not really go all the way with what i wanted to do with it and make and what i wanted to make it look like so by the time i finished it i was like that looks like fucking garbage so i went back and i redesigned everything (laughs) so that kind of stuff so that was fucking minecraft minecraft Um, segment 
<laughs> the have two minute seen, Minecraft segment. Can we, if we, can we go back to porn real quick? Yeah, what do you have, have to you say? Se- have you seen Minecraft porn? I have. I have seen Minecraft porn in passing. I have never intentionally I, looked up Minecraft porn. I, I have not intentionally looked it up, but I have seen it, and I was like. Fuck yes, Minecraft porn. Are you fucking with me? And I, I clicked the shit out of it. Oh my <laughs> and I, god! And I watched Minecraft porn with this bitch yeah. goes on an adventure of getting fucked by like every fucking mob in the game. Right. Like, oh my fucking like, god. Okay. And I'll, like I'll, Enderman makes his dick bigger, and he fucking shoves it. Really? In there. Yeah, he makes his dick huge. It's like obnoxiously huge. <laughs> An obnoxious cock. Um, I read it like too well. Really. Like oh my dumb, god i dumb. remember um fucking i uh fuck i'm losing my train of thought okay i i want to restate my my thesis right my my statement uh-huh. uh, i i do intentionally look up minecraft porn so i can get a funny image to send to my friends but i don't actually like i'm like hmm what does this look like i've never watched a minecraft porn video i, I only have. look at images <laughs> <laughs> i look up I, I look at like a steve getting a blowjob from an alex on minecraft uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh has God. everyone has everyone at home seen the image um i think it's on Pornhub, and it's it's a, one man comments we need more wa- minecraft wolf porn and another <laughs> another person comments, no we don't and then it's, it's it's a tweet from kanye west and it says once again i am being attacked for my ideas <laughs> oh my god that's a meme that's somewhere uh i want everyone at home to see that Oh, you know what? If I remember to do to do this, I'm going to put a link to that fucking image in the description. I'll I'll try and send it to you. Yes, please send it to me after after we're <laughs> recording. Fuck. Uh, we do. I'll, okay, we're, we're we're pretty much done with this podcast. I think it's a good bookend to start the podcast with porn and end the podcast with porn. Um, All right. So I want to say I want to say one last. I want each of us to say one last final statement. Uh, we do need more Minecraft wolf porn. I think that would be funny. That's um, my that's my final statement. <laughs> um, don't rape in general. If you're gonna <laughs> rape, rape in Minecraft because then it'll be really funny. Yeah, then it'll be funny. That's true. All right, that's 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 a good ending. All right, that we got We got a, We got two great messages to end the podcast. Thank right. you for watching the Big Gay Podcast. I am gay. Gabe is gay. Lol. Lol. We'll see y'all next time.